Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. Okay, we've finished freeing the kidnapped Cerberus residents from their involuntary servitude on the first floor of Dargard Keep. I think there's just one other location that we want to visit on this floor. So we are going to turn south. Store is welded shut. That's okay. I think we're going to go to the northern of these two doors. Not that it matters that much. And we're going to go down this hallway. You face a row of ancient barracks. They've clearly been vacant for ages. Dirty straw is piled in the corner of this old barrack. It looks like the room was used as a temporary prison. Search the straw? Sure. You find a small tarnished amulet. It's worthless, but you see the initials S.A. engraved on the back. And can you guess who that is? Right, it's Sebas Asmore. Yeah, so it's it seems quite logical that he would have been taken here after he was kidnapped from Vingard Keep and taken to Calaman and then taken away from there. Yeah, we're going to go back this way. Yeah, you know, as if we were going to the servants' quarters. But now we're going to go down this way. Because there's a way we can smash the drawbridge controls. Which, you know, we don't absolutely have to do since we can get in and out through the throne room. Yeah, that just goes into one of the towers. We can go this way. I think. Yeah. Okay, let's save before we go through there because we will get ambushed by guards at the front gate. So like this, it's totally optional if you want to do this, but okay. The drawbridge controls are here. You hack it until the drawbridge can no longer be raised. You now enter and leave the keep freely. Mm, not right this minute. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's okay, we're going to go... Yeah, take the servant's passage back. Yeah, and we're going to take that secret passage again. And now we are going to take the stairs going up. Actually. Yep, 
Yeah. There are no wandering monsters other than the four patrols that we had to defeat. Okay, now we're going to climb the stairs. The room at the top of the stairs is foggy and dark. A large group of guards and shackled prisoners are startled by your arrival. A few guards detach from the group and attack. Okay. And it looks like we've got some specters and vampires. Oh, joy. Okay, let's... There. Now the vampire mage can't cast spells. Let's see what's left. Just the vampire mage. Well, can we rest on this level? Once we get to the cells, yeah. So, yeah, I think I will. Okay. I think it was worth it to avoid getting level drained by that vamp. As you finish the battle, the rest of the guards and their prisoners retreat westward. So maybe we want to go west. Yeah, this, there's some prison cells that are completely safe to rest in, but it it might be possible to rest elsewhere also, but no guarantees. So let's go. The guards shove the prisoners southward round the corner. You hear a massive portcullis clang shut. So we're going to have to... go through this door here. A group of vampires are watching something out the northern window. What do you do? Let's try to sneak past. You manage to sneak past the vampires. This room is empty except for a large lever mounted in the center of the floor. You press your ear to the door, but you can't hear the vampires. They must be moved on to another room. You stand before a large wooden lever mounted in the floor. Pull the lever. Yeah. You hear a distant grinding as of a, por as of a portcullis ra raising nearby. That probably raises the portcullis. But we should be able to get through now. You pass through the portcullis. And let's save before we continue. One group of guards drag their captives southward. Other guards shove their prisoners aside and attack. So, oh good lord, a death knight. Oh crap. And of course we don't have resist fire cast.
Oh, it's a very good thing I saved before trying this. We might be able to turn... Okay, we might be able to turn the... Vampires. Let's see if we can... Held one of the black mages. Uh, let's try a stinking cloud. Oh crap. That's not good. Don't know if we'll be able to turn that other vampire or not. Oh great, Brienne's been charmed. Okay, let's... And Danny's just been held. And area's just been level drained. Well, hang on, people. I think I'm going to recover from the save just before we went in here and cast a few protective spells and redo this battle. So we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, we're back. And we've... We're just before that battle, and we've paused to cast protective spells, including resist fire, because we know that... Death Knights love to cast that. So let's advance into this room. Okay, so... That's one way to take Black Mages out. Yeah, we'll have Brienne switch to her melee weapons, of course. Okay. Oh. Don't know if we'll be able to turn that other vampire or not. Let's see what we can do with regular weapons. There. Now we just have that Death Knight left. I want to be careful about using spells around Death Knights because mostly they don't work and sometimes they reflect the spells back on the caster. 
Let's see if any of this is magical. Oh, uh, the braces and the quarterstaffs are, but not the darts, so I'm not even going to bother taking the darts. Because by this point, the vast majority of the opponents we're going to run into can only be hit by magical weapons. Yeah, we may not be able to keep all this junk, but that's okay. We'll live. Okay. You unshackle the prisoners and learn that they're clerics from the High Clearest Tower. We seek the stolen body of Sturm Brightblade, they say. We know he's close by. Please help us recover him. Yeah, I think was we'll, Yeah. We remember when that was stolen. Okay, so we want to go that way. In the meantime, let's save. Don't know if we'll be able to rest safely, but we can try. At least we're memorizing some of the spells. Oh. Okay. Weirbors I can deal with. Weirbors are just not that scary. I mean, if I've got to run into wandering monsters. I'd rather deal with weirbores than just about anything else, especially since they're not going to turn us into weir critters in this game, as far as I know. Yeah, at this point we're still able to retreat, although since we ran into these clerics, we're kind of committed to helping them find Sturm's body before we can leave this level. But once we've done that, I think we can still leave Dark Art Keep altogether if we absolutely have to, like to go train or sell off stuff. I think I'd mostly be interested in doing that if we did need to train. Okay, so let's encamp. Yes, Brienne can heal, so we'll have her heal the Ceres. Then we'll save. And we'll try resting again. Now well, we got one spell memorized. Let's hope to goodness we can. Okay, we got the race turned. We might be able to turn the vampires, but. Vampires tend to be really hard to turn. Oh, crap. Okay, let's encamp 
Okay, and we'll save again. We'll attempt to rest again. Oh, I got one more spell. Okay, we're tigers this time. I think maybe after this, we might just continue moving on to the cells. Rested or not. But weird tigers don't bother me that much either. They're nearly as easy to kill off as weird boars. Only a few more hit points each. And although they might look just a little bit like Rakshasas, they are not magic resistant like Rakshasas. So I could use spells if I wanted to. But I'd just as soon save my spells for something tougher. Okay. Let's just save. And I think we should just continue moving. We're almost to where the cells are. Yeah, we need to go through here. And then there's flesh golems in here with instructions to destroy anything that enters. You see a wooden lever on the far wall. Basically, we defeat them, then we pull the wo wooden lever. And then that will open the portcullis, which will give us access to the cells where we can finally rest safely. So let's see if we can take out the flesh golems real quick. Now, I'm not sure if this non-magical staff sling of his is going to work. No, it's not. You know, I think fire and cold based spells do slow down flesh golems. In any case, I'd have to finish this battle and be done recording for the moment because the family is going out for supper after this.
Uh, I think we'll just have him guard. Okay, well, we'll encamp and save here, and in the next episode, we'll move that lever to lift the part colors, we'll get into the cells, and we'll actually be able to rest safely for a change. So we will see you then.